All right, I've got a 5.9 liter uh, Cummins engine here. Uh, this is about an 0304 vintage. Um, we're going to be measuring lash adjustment on it. Um, when we talk about lash adjustment, we're talking about the, the gap that is found between the rocker arm assembly right here and whatever contacts the valve. So we've got this little arm that contacts both, both valves here. Um, so that, th that needs to be adjusted on, on this particular uh, style of engine. And uh, we're going to talk about the tools and uh, the procedure to do this. Uh, the first thing that we've done is we've set the engine at top dead center. Um, in order to set the engine at top dead center, we need to use the barring tool. And the barring tool is uh, installed in the back of the engine um, on the opposite side of the starter. And it allows us to be able to um, rotate the engine um, because the crankshaft damper does not have a bolt. So here's the tool. Um, this is just going to slide back in. You'll see a little cover that it covers, so it's going to be right here on the right hand side of the engine towards the transmission. And you're just going to slide this in, and it's going to make connection with either the flex plate or flywheel, depending on what type of transmission you have, and then you'll rotate it. This particular one is a blue point, but they also have a uh, uh, Snap-on makes one, I think there's a Mako one, and there's also a Miller Special Tools, and they all work essentially the same. So this is to rotate the crankshaft without uh, um, the starter. Alright, so uh, the next thing that we've done is remove the valve cover, and uh, we're, ready, we're ready to go here. Now, uh, this is where we make all of our adjustments. I've already loosened up this uh, lock nut right here, and then this inner portion turns. So when I rotate this, and this is a five millimeter socket, if I keep this lock nut stationary, when I rotate this assembly here, that is uh, taking away the distance or decreasing the distance that the push rod is connected to the rocker arm. We can see now that I have no lash in this valve. If I go ahead and I loosen this back up, I have a lot of lash in this valve. Okay, so that's the adjustment that we're going to be making. The lock nut simply just holds that so that I have the appropriate length for the push rod. Now, Cummins says that, that you don't really ever have to adjust this, um, but there is an adjustment available, so if you're having trouble with your engine, this might be something that you would look at in the adjustment. The specifications is 6 to 15 thousandths of an inch, um, and so you would check each of these um, uh, for that specification. So check your own engine, make sure that you're within the right specifications, and we'll show you, generally speaking, how I'd make that, that adjustment. So I've got a feeler gauge right here, and I've set it at 10 thousandths of an inch. That's kind of the in-between of uh, where I want this lash adjustment. Um, and the feeler gauge is simply just going to slide up underneath here, pick this assembly up, and it just, it just slides underneath here. Okay, so I'm looking to see what my gap is. We can see that it's a significant amount right here. So I'm going to slowly tighten up my uh, adjustment, and we see that I've gone a little bit too far there, and I've got a nice drag, and that indicates that I'm approximately 10 thousandths of an inch uh, adjustment right there. I would then take uh, my uh, wrench to, to tighten up the lock nut. This is a 14 millimeter. I'm going to hold the lash in place, and I'm going to tighten up the lock nut. So the lock nut's in place. I would then verify my lash. Looks like I got about 10 thousandths there. And then I would continue on. Now I would need to then rotate the engine an additional 360 degrees and that should allow me to do any of the valves that are currently closed. I could then make the appropriate lash adjustment.